hi this is anil and welcome to the video tutorial on java programming so in this tutorial i'm going to teach you guys about the conditional statements in java so what are these conditional statements why we have to use it and how to use it so let's begin so let's say you're gonna write a program you know where you need to execute some some of your code depending on some conditions for example let's say you are writing a program you know which allows the users to enter a dance club the restriction or the condition is that the user's age should be greater than or equal to 18. if the user's age is greater than or equal to 18 he can enter the dance club else he need to go back home so how to write a program to achieve that so at that time what we can do is we can use the conditional statements which are available in java which allows us to execute some statements if some condition is true else we can execute some other statements so let's begin so in java we have the conditional statements like if else and switch so in this tutorial i'm gonna teach you guys about the if and else so let's get started so the first thing is how to use this if so we need to use a keyword if if and then a pair of parentheses and between that parentheses we're gonna write the condition or you know the expression which evaluates to either true or false if this condition or this expression that we have here is evaluates to true then whatever the statements we're gonna write between this curly braces will be executed so if this condition is true we're gonna execute all the code that we're gonna write inside this block else if this condition is false or you know the expression that we're gonna write here is evaluated to false at that time you know the statements that we're gonna write inside this block will not be executed so here for our dance club program what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask the users age so i'm gonna create a variable and let's call it as age the next thing that do is we're gonna check the user's age here whether the user's age is greater than or equal to 18. so in the previous tutorial i have explained you guys about the comparison operators so these comparison operators are used to compare multiple operands so here we can use that comparison operators so we can check whether the user's age is greater than or equal to 18 and also you know when you use the comparison operator the result of that operation is going to be either true or false and that's what we want here inside this if so if the age is greater than or equal to 18 which means that the user can enter the dance club so what we can do is we can tell the user so i'm just going to use the system dot out dot print line and i'm gonna say welcome to dance club and we're just gonna say don't forget to do that cool move all right so if the user's age is greater than or equal to 18 then you know we're gonna execute this statement so here what happens is when this statement encounters the condition is checked whether the value stored in this age variable is greater than or equal to 18 if it is so the statements that we have written inside this block will be executed and then the remaining statements of this program will be executed you know which are present after this if block if this condition fails then you know this statement will not be executed and the next statement after this if block will be executed let's say we have any other statements here system dot out dot print line mm, let's say dancing is fun and you know this statement will be executed irrespective of the outcome of this operation you know whether this um, condition fails or succeeds you know it doesn't matter you know if this condition succeeds then this statement will be executed else you know this statement will not be executed and you know this uh, dancing is fun which is outside this if block will be executed in both the cases so what we can do is we can initialize our age variable now so let's say my age is 16 now if i run this program you guys can see it says dancing is fun 
but we didn't got this message you know welcome to the dance club don't forget to do that cool move that's because here age is not greater than or equal to 18 you know which is less than 18 that's why this expression evaluates to false and that's why the statements inside this if block will not be executed now let's say my age is 18 and if i run this program you guys can see welcome to the dance club don't forget to do that cool move and it says dancing is fun all right so here you know we can uh, use any other comparison operators and also you know we can uh, construct complex conditions here you know which i'm going to teach you in the upcoming tutorials so now we have seen that you know the statements inside this if block will be executed only if this condition evaluates to true so what if you want to execute some statements if this condition fails so at that time what we can do is we can use the else part so it's going to be else here you know the keyword else then a pair of curly braces or you know the code block so between this block whatever the statements that we can write will be executed only if this expression evaluates to false so here just gonna say i'm just gonna copy this and uh, paste it here and i'm gonna say go home kid you know that's enough i'm gonna save this and uh, i'm gonna uh, change this value to let's say 16 and now i'm gonna run this now you guys can see go home kid that's because this expression here is evaluated to false that's why you know this else block or the statements inside this else block is executed and in all the cases we have seen this dancing is fun that's because you know it is outside this if and else block so it is executed every time so now for the last time let's change this one to 25 and let's run this now you guys can see welcome to the dance club don't forget to do that cool move and dancing is fun this time the expression evaluates to true and that's why the statements inside this if block is executed and the statements inside this else block is not executed and then you know the program executes the remaining statements present in the program so this is it guys this is something about the conditional statements if and else in java Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any doubt or any suggestion, don't hesitate to tell us and also you guys can like our video if you think that you know you have learned something from this tutorial. And also I'm gonna put this source code in my uh, web blog learninglearnededucation.blogspot.com. You guys can go there and copy the code. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.